Quite often, there are areas of your garden that get forgotten about, and then they quite quickly become dumping grounds, a little bit like this pergola. So I want to give it a new lease on life, a bit of a makeover, and bring back its purpose. Now, that's going to start by giving it a lick of paint, and I think I'll take inspiration from these and go white. I'm also thinking some screening. I'm thinking a lovely bench seat with a built-in planter so we can sit down and enjoy the garden. And then I'm going to add lots of colour. But it all starts with a good clean-out. Whenever you're doing a project, no matter how big or small, you've got to be prepared for things to go a little bit sideways. Here, we removed the, the pockets that are on the wall, and we found that down the bottom, all the timber is just rotten away, and that's because water's got up and is soaking your boards. I just need to cut through this board, remove all the rot, and that will leave me with an open bit. Not really a problem, because we're going to be putting our bench seat right in front of it. I've knocked up a really simple frame for my screen, just out of treated pine and painted it white to match my pergola. Now, I'm using these really rustic old palings, and I'm going to be putting them on a bit of an angle. It's going to give me a lovely backdrop and screen out the shed, and it's going to look nice and solid, but allow airflow through and light so it's not going to feel bulky. I'm building a really simple stud work frame for my new bench seats. That way we're going to have a nice spot to sit down and enjoy the pergola. We've got a top rail and a bottom rail. I'm just going to screw that together. Once I've done that, I'll do a second one, and we're basically building a big rectangle that we can clad in timber later. Thank you, chaps. So we've cut up some marine ply to create a really big box. Don't worry, I'm not going to do my happy birthday Mr. President rendition and jump out the top of it. It's to put some plants in to sit behind our bench seat. Now, using marine ply means it can go outside. It's not going to warp, it's not going to twist, it's going to be totally fine. I'm just going to screw this together and you'll see exactly what I mean. And there you have it. I've screwed myself into a box. So hopefully, you can now see what I was thinking. We've got a planter and we've got a seat, but we're missing a top. So I'm just using treated pine decking boards, and they will clad the top here. But before I screw those down, I'm going to pre-paint them. I'm really happy with how our screens come together, and the louvers work really well. They screen the fence out, but you can still catch glimpses of the gun behind. We're just going to pop it up into the space and bugle it off. To replace the old rotten green wall that was here, I'm just using some Rio mesh. This is just concrete as mesh. And we're going to mount it to the wall like this, and then we can hang some pots on there. What we'll also do is put it over the roof as well, so when we've got some climbers over the top, they're not going to hang down and make it feel dingy and grungy. Rather than fill this whole box up with soil just to plant it out, I've been a little bit smarter about it, and I've just put a bead of timber around the inside of our box. I'm just using a plastic tub. That's going to use a lot less potting mix, and it's going to be much easier if we ever want to change the plants over. This is much easier to plant up than all of that.
When you're planting up a trough like this, you need plants that can handle the conditions. There's not too much soil here, and it's going to be quite hot and glary underneath our pergola. So I'm using some of my favorites. Now, this is a digiplexus. It's a cross between a digitalis, a foxglove, and an isoplexus. But one of the benefits of this over a foxglove is it can take full sun, and it comes in an array of different colors. So I'm going to be using that for a bit of height. To balance that off, I'm using euphorbia. Now, euphorbia can take lots and lots of sun. I'm also using a little native violet, and I'm using this to spill over the edges and down the front. To finish it off, to tie it all together, a little bit of silver with this lovely cotton lavender. To bring our palace of white to life and to give a bit of greenery and soften the Rio, I'm using it with some pots. So in these smaller pots, I've fashioned a wire that we can just hang them on, and I'm going to be planting up aromatics like this lovely thyme and these strawberries. For the hanging baskets, though, we've got a bit more space. And for that, I'm going to be using pelargoniums and geraniums. You can see how this is really coming to life just by adding some plants. I've also knocked up another cube just to match our bench seating. Now, this can be used as additional seating, a space to stretch out your legs, or you could use it as an occasional table as well. And we've turned this area that was uninviting and unappealing into a lovely spot to come and relax. I think it gets the pretty pergola tick of approval. Oh.